said. Shock 5 Hort. El Papi underscore 2023. Said. I'm here for the Capons Mithe. <laughs> hey. I am I I actually have methane producers yet. I wanted to show you this as I thought this was really cool. On the menu, when you first start your game, this is what you see. Okay, you see this brown planet, lifeless. But as you progress in the game, it shows you like what your planet is actually doing. Because I've got El water Papi underscore twenty twenty three. I know, right? That's Set. cool as shit. Wow. And there's still some spots I haven't gotten green yet. I mean, that's just cool. I, I you know, that's just a, a little thing in this game that it's like, wow. That's just, you know, better than Subnautica. <laughs> I don't think Subnautica does that. So let's load up our game. I've been uh, working on a lot of things here. So right now, I'm working 55% towards trees. <laughs> um... I'm almost at two giga terraformation index. Almost. So I need to increase, as you can see, my biomass. My biomass is only. Said, hey, hey Cap, how Bilbetto. is the crafting of planets going? It is going. Oh, and let's do this. Let's. Mahula's on here. Let's do a shout out. Uh, El Papi to underscore Mahula. 2023 said, Bill. Let's do a shout Bill out Beto to. Uh, said, Bob. Mahula there. There we go. Mahula was last playing. Hey, I think I, I played with you on that one. That's that VR game that's pretty pretty fun. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, but anyway, back to this. I need to get more biomass going. I got my pressure way up there. Um, Bill Beto my heat said, is like... Oh, woof. yeah, that VR game was fun. And then the oxygen um, is, it's its up there. Not quite, so I need oxygen and biomass. There goes my terra, terra, terraformation index. Goes to two giga terraformation. All right. And I've unlocked quite a bit, so lately. So I've gotten gas extractors. So I got my methane, my methane gas extractor. I also got a nuclear fusion generator, but in order to make the nuclear fusion generator, I have to have these stupid pulsar quartz. And I don't know where to get them. According to the game, you used to be able to make them, and now you can't. So you're going to have to find them. So I'm, I'm assuming there's a pulsar quartz cave somewhere. Um, let's see, what else? I got the last thing to unlock. Tree spreader 2. I've got tree spreader 1, so that's what I've been working on is planting some trees. I got uh, super alloy rods now, so I can make those. That's just made out of, I think, nine alloy rods, or nine super alloy. And then my water filter. So now I can just drink um, right out of the lake. I just go down there, and I don't have to carry water bottles anymore. Um, the teleporter is the next big thing for in-game, is what I've been hearing, because that allows you to go from one side of the planet to the other. Um, and then tree spur three is up. I got the DNA manipulator, which is kind of cool. You put in, um, you put in three items here, and it makes uh, a tree seed. And then that tree seed is used in the tree spreader. And then your recipes are up here. So I have these flowers, but then these. That's a plant. I think I have Tuscas, uh, Nolnas, and Pestrias, um, and Shangras. I think those are the seeds I have. Um, Shanga, Pestria, and a Lolna. Okay, those are the only three I have. Yeah. Um, but I have, oh, that's where they're at. It's like, I know I have the other one. They're out here in these. These veggie tubes. That's an old, uh, is it this one? Yeah, the Tuscas. 
So those are 400% oxygen modifiers. I may take some of those out of here. Um, let me go grab some of those others. I'll go grab some of those 300s. Those were these three. So I'll grab three of those and replace them. I don't remember what this one is. This one's a, yeah, it's a 150. And then I'll replace them um, with these 400s. And then I'll make trees out of them. And then that's a 400. Because the other ones I have, oh, are down here. They're these flower spreaders. I wonder, I should do the 600s. Because these are golden seeds. Let's do that one. Let's let's change that to a Tusca. Let's go see what the golden seed can make. In the DNA manipulator. Plus I did a couple of little things. I don't know if you saw that. I changed where this Bio 2 habitat was. So I didn't have to go upstairs. I just added it on the end of this one. On the research. Alright, let's look at this. Um... What was it called again? The uh, Golden Seed. Ooh, I don't know. Lerma's Volna. See, I don't, I don't think I've even seen that seed yet. So, we're going to just create it. Um, Alright, so I need Mutagen. This is all my methane. What else do I need for this? I need, I need a mutagen, tree bark. Okay, all right. So let's see if this will produce something. We'll put the golden sea in there, a tree bark, and a mutagen. Let's see if we'll do any research. Oh, it create, creates a pleon. I don't know what that is, but we're going to make it. All right, so why the mini players taking that? We have one tree seed. So let's go build another... Um, tree manipulator. I need a bacteria sample and a fertilizer. It's a bioplastic. I think I have I've got bioplastic. I need a fertilizer. Um, three algae, sulfur, and eggplant. Oh, I need two eggplants. Algae. I don't remember how many I needed. Uh, is that what I needed? Fertilizer? Yeah. Oh, I need algae. Yeah, I, I got algae. Why isn't it making it? Did I not grab algae? Oh, I grabbed. I grabbed methane. Yeah. See, they kind of look the same. You don't judge. All right, fertilizer. And I need a bacteria sample. I need one of these. I think I gotta make bacteria. One of these was water. Yeah, there we go. I'm almost out of water. Is that what I needed? I don't know, remember no. I need a bacteria sample, yes. Alright, I need to drink a water. Alright. Okay, so now I have the bacteria sample, the fertilizer, and the plastic. I need super alloy and a tree bark. Okay. Um, let's see if I got a tree bark in here. No, okay. I got one in my tree bark container though. Tree bark and a super alloy. Got lots of super alloy and I'll show you what I did. Um, one of our, uh, one of my guys that were uh, watching me told me how to do this. But I want to plant this golden tree right here on this lake. So, uh, let's see, where do we want our forest? Let's put our forest, like, starting here. Because you got to put it in the water. 
but you want to put it on the edge and I probably want to put it in this corner because the more landmass it's near the more trees appear on the grass so how are we sitting there we got quite a bit there all right then let's put in our oh this is just for this one okay um I want to plant the golden one here. I want to see what that one turns out to be. So let's just go back and we'll make a, another um, tree spreader. We'll go place that one somewhere else. All right. So I know I need tree spreader, I need a bacteria sample, and a fertilizer. The bacteria sample is algae. Algae and water, isn't it? Yeah. Do I have enough water over here? No. Alright, well I got plenty of water, I just gotta go get it. Let's just move all this water much as I can here let's make a couple of these fertilizer algae can only make one what else do I need fertilizer algae Oh yeah, sulfur, sulfur, and two eggplant. Alright. And I need super alloy and a bioplastic bucket. That'll allow me to make another one. Yeah, now my storms are like purplish. So I think what I'm going to do is plant this tree. This is probably the most land that I can get right here, maybe? Um, what was this one? Well, this was a tree. This was a tree one, and I've got some trees going up now. Why not? Let's just put it right here. And then we want to put in this tree seed. Alright. And we'll let that go to work. Alright, let me show you what I did. So, one of the guys that was uh, watching me yesterday told me about where to find the silicone. Or, uh, al uh, aluminum. And that's in this darkish colored ground or it may just be that's just dark because it's covered but anyway this ground here is the silicone so I created this silicone factory over here and or I keep like saying it's aluminum so now I'm making aluminum so what you do here is you just collect as much as you can of all 
this stuff, because it's, it's a little bit of everything. And you come in here, and I got a table, and I make super alloy. I mean, just one after another. Because that's all that does is produce tons of, of stuff. Of all the stuff you need to make super alloy. <clears throat> which is an awesome way to do this. I need more of that. I need more silicone. Uh, what else do I need to make more? That's it. Now I need iron. Which I, I know I have plenty of iron. <laughs> so... And we'll put the super alloy in here. Then what I do, once I get a bunch of super alloy, I will take it over to the other cave. And the stuff that's being produced there, where the iridium lines are at, um, I'll take all the leftover aluminum from here over to that one. And it's got a bunch of leftover stuff. Oh, well, let's produce these first. And I'll produce more super alloy over there. Okay, I need more silicone. I don't think I had it. Uh, there's one. Alright, that's all of them I'm going to get produced here. Alright, so, oh, let's put this away. Put all that in the same container, and then we'll put these in there. Yep. So we got all the aluminum, we'll take all the super alloy, and then we run over to this other cave. So it's just kind of a little triangle. So the base was in a good location. The best location would have been closer, <clears throat> would have been like out here in these fields here with these, um, these pillars of rocks. Because what happened is, now that we're getting so far along, the trees are coming up through the ground and they reveal these zeolite deposits. And I get zeolite every once in a while because you can't mine zeolite either. Um, but what's really cool is I have, when I first found zeolite, it was up here. So this tree grew. See, there's a zeolite there. And you can climb this, and it puts you up here in this little other biome. And this is where all the zeolite that I first got was from. It was here. But now that it's now that I've grown trees, I can climb down here. We're low food. Okay. Go inside here. I've got food. There's a. There's a green bean to eat. There we go. All right, so let's put all these in there. And we'll take care of these ones. So then I just grab all this stuff and do the same thing I did over at the other one. But this one, it's the iridium. So we come over here and because I have there's no aluminum over here, but I brought aluminum with me. I can make more super alloy. Um, put that in there for now. I need more silicone. But I've got excess of materials here because before I made the other one, I need cobalt. Um, I have way, way a lot of excess here. So I just got to bring, what is it? Iron and silicone. Got lots of iron. And more silicone around the corner. Ooh, I'm running out of silicone. Cobalt. Grabbed all that cobalt. Um, oh, nope, no silicone in there, nope. All right, I know I got cobalt. Silicone, titanium, aluminum. All right. So, just put this in there for now. 
super alloy. Let's take all this, put the super alloy back. Let's make a iridium rod. Freeze up some iridium. And let's go out and get the rest of it. So this is what I've been doing for, well, not a long time, but uh, keeps you hopping going to these mines. Because there's one more, there's a sulfur mine. And that, that's where I get my sulfur from. Um, that keeps me hopping. So now it's the grind. Alright. And let's see, what did we need for more iron and... Oh, am I out of aluminum? Didn't bring enough aluminum over? Nope. Okay, well, let's just put this stuff away. Alright. Uh, Alright. So, there. Cobalt. Mag. Aluminum, I don't have any in there. Silicone. And titanium. All right. So now let's run over here. We'll get all of the uh, all the sulfur that I've got. I got one sulfur mine. I should get a couple more mines over here. This disc doesn't give me a lot of sulfur, and I can start seeing them when I start needing it. Um, let's see what's it take to make another mine. Osmium. Yeah. See, I don't have any more osmium. My Osmium Cave is over here. But I don't think there's any more Osmium. I, it takes a level 2... Um, it takes a level 2 tier drill in here to make Osmium. And then, of course, this Osmium Cave back here, now that this ice melted, leads me into my... Uh, what's in this? I might as well... Oh, I can't take it all. This leads me into my... Whatever this cave is. But there's no Osmium in here either. And, of course, that leads me out the back entrance. down into this little biome down here, which really needs a lot of greenery. But this is that shield wall thing down there where the, that just leads me over to these uh, silicon, or not silicon. I don't need as much iridium anymore. Maybe I'll take one of these apart. Yeah, that might be the best way to go. I'll take one of these drills apart, put it out there with the sulfur. Alright, what do I got on me? Okay, let's just put this stuff away. Iron. Iron. Silicone. This, this, these, will leave the iridium. Should have enough room now. Let's take one of these apart. Let's take this last one apart. Let's hit it first. Let's grab that and then deconstruct it. And then take it out here. And 
build it next to this one. I'm missing a titanium, really? Oh, my inventory is full. All right. Super alloy we can use. And our tree, our golden tree should be processed by now. I will plant that down by the water and see what happens. See what kind of trees it produces. So see this one's got a few trees. There's a few more over there. That all adds to the bio index. I already picked that one up. I moved, I moved my uh, pressure, my drills, all around that rock. Got another uh, reactor or two. And as you can see here, I uh, changed the biodomes the way they look. Added them out. Added some uh, support here for Zan. I got to finish it off yet, so he doesn't have a heart attack when he sees it. All right, let's see where we're at with this. It's done. All right, let's put the sulfur away. There we go. Grab our tree. Pleome. Our pleome tree. Uh, what else we got to get rid of? Uh, oh, all of our super alloy. That goes here. Too much. The odds are the uh, in there. The zeolite. We have room in here. Yep. Add one of those. Organize it. Oh, what do, what do I need for this? I might have just put something away. Bioplastic tree bark. Super alloy fertilizer. Oh, I don't need to make another one. I just need to go put that this one out there. This tree bark. So this is our golden tree. I, it, it, supposedly there is a golden tree somewhere. I don't think this is it. This pleome, but that's 200% oxygen modifier. So, hey. All right, I got a bacteria sample. What's it take to make another one of these? Bacteria sample, a fertilizer, a tree bark, and another super alloy. All right, well, let's go back and make another one. You know, trees are trees. Then we'll launch some more rockets because the uh, biomass rockets are awesome. They really start making things grow. And the one question I have though is I don't know if launching the biomass rockets help in this area. Or if I went to another area and built a launch platform and did it there, that might be a better way of doing it. All right, so I need a bacteria sample, which I have. I need a fertilizer. I'm gonna have to go out and get more algae, yeah. Okay, let's go out and get more algae. I haven't collected that in a while, so there's going to be a lot there. So one of the things I was doing off camera was just trying to reorganize and uh, yeah, I got room. Change things around on the base, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna move containers and stuff like that so it's a little more organized for what I'm doing like getting everything close by to one another so when I make something I don't have to go 10,000 feet to make it this is all the bacteria this is all the algae I planted these algae bloom machines. Inventory full. Okay. I can move those mushrooms over now. Not all of them, but move some of them over. Alright, tree spreader. I need plastic and a tree bark. Where's the plastic? Right there. And a tree bark. Alright, let's throw the algae samples back. I only need, oh, I'll just hang on to them. I only need one, but... for power. So good. 274. Yeah. Alright. Trees. We should have trees right down here, you think? I think. Right off our uh, algae growth. Alright. Now I just gotta go make another tree. I've got a plant or two. Make another one of these. I think I need mutagen now. Yeah, I need mutagen and a tree bark. Okay, so I gotta make a mutagen, which is sulfur. Methane. Sulfur methane and what? A bacteria sample. Okay. Okay. Mutagen, that, oh, tree bark. Okay, sequence started. Let's grab these two tree marks here. Super alloy is full, so let's grab some super alloy. I'll make some super alloy rods. Oh, I need aluminum. Kit. Oh, that's right. Put these rods back. I only want to put one back. Ah! Oh, then I forgot to grab aluminum. There we go. This will free up some area. Somewhere. So I can make these rods, and then, um, need aluminum again. 
if I need to, I can take these rods apart for the base materials. Um, I just have to create... Oh man, I'm out of room. So I'm going to make a... Uh... I have... Oh, I don't. That's an oat. Yeah, I can put it. O2 and super alloy rods. Okay, let's just grab those other super alloy rods and put them in here. I'll free up some room. Put that one in there, organize it. Okay. Now I'll put this super alloy back. Oh, that's where my osmium is supposed to be. That's why I couldn't find it. It's in here. Anyway, they make this uh, thing to tear it apart. This thing right here. I need to make, uh, what, two microchips of deconstruction and the three super alloys. Um, and that'll tear any rod down back into its basic part. So if you have a uranium rod and you need the uranium, you can tear it back down. This one, the shredder, actually disposes and deletes and gets rid of. Um, I haven't seen a reason to do that yet. Um, but this one I could see the recycling machine. So let's go ahead and make that. I need two deconstruction. That's here on this. Do, do, do. Deconstruction. Silicone and magnesium. So silicone, one, two. Magnesium, one, two. Oop. That was three. Put one back. Let's make two deconstructors. All right. And then I need three super alloy. And I'm thinking I don't know how big this is. I don't think it's very big. No, it's not. I'll put it in here for now. There we go. So you put whatever you want in there in the recycling end, press the button, all your raw materials come out there. All right. Yeah. Need food and water. Let's go grab a let's go grab a bean or two. I had one on me. And I don't need to drink the water. I'll just go out and get a drink. I'll go ahead and grab all these. Drink one. There we go. Let's grab some more methane. Sometimes methane produces these oxygen. That's why I've been storing them in here. Methane rod. All right. So with the methane rods, I need to make mutagen. All right. So let's do that. Let's make another mutagen. All right. And let's just put mutagen in here because I don't think I had a oh I did but they're not fitting in there anymore all right so let's just change this to just methane this is kind of miscellaneous I got water oh this is water water beans <laughs> okay water beans and mutagen
Is it Muta? Yeah, Mutagen. Okay. And how are we doing here? We got our tree seed. All right, let's go put our tree seed in the machine. Oh, look, we got golden trees overgrown over there already. Let's go take a look at those. All right. What kind of trees we got here? Palm trees. Looks like some palm trees and some, I don't know, those desert trees. I don't know, Mahula, you'd know. These are space trees. So that was a good spot for that because it, uh, oh. Oh, look at here. Got some stubby space alien trees and ferns. Ah, that's cool. That's from this one. Nice. All right, rocket time. Let's see, we want to increase. This one attracts uranium, this one attracts iridium. This one is biomass multiplier. So I need a lerma seed and a tree bark, which I only have like three lerma seeds left. So let's just go ahead and do these, do these up, I need fertilizer too. They're special. So I got three Lerma seeds. I got four bark there. Okay. So we need to make the rocket engines. That's first thing. Super alloy, iridium. So we'll do three. So I need three super alloy. One, two, three. I don't know if I'm going to have uranium. There's enough for two. I could break a rod down. Let's do that. We'll test out our new thing here. All right. Um, put it in the container. And then push it the button. <laughs> I got glowy. Oh, fell on the floor. I think that was more than I needed. I'll we'll just grab it all. And go put it in the case. So I need six for three rockets. Need three of those, right? Yep. One, two, three. All right. There's three rockets. And then for the biomass rocket, I needed. I took a picture of it. Lerma seed, tree bark, fertilizer. I gotta make three fertilizer and then I gotta have six super alloys. I gotta have six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And fertilizer. Okay. One, two, three. Eggplant. And what else? Oh, algae. I need six algae. There you go. Fertilizer, fertilizer, fertilizer. Oh, I only took six. I needed nine. Because I need three fertilizer. What I have three fertilizers, six, and then learn the seeds and bark and the engines. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. We'll see if it happens. I watched <laughs> this is gonna be funny, guys. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so I watched this on YouTube. Let's see if it works. 
you have one rocket getting ready to take off and you build another one and have it take off and the two rockets connect and then they go wonky and go everywhere so let's see what happens it they still work so there's wait till it builds there we go then launch it build another and launch it oh come on build it launch it there we go <laughs> so the two rockets are hooked together and they go all wonky spacex yeah boink They're just getting stuck. There they go. Nope. Nope. Yep. There they go. And up, up. No. Get stuck on the rocks again. <laughs> oh, one rocket disappeared. Gilberto said, don't think Elon will be offering you a job anytime soon, Cap. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill Beto. <laughs> yeah, probably not, right? So there was two rockets launched. I have enough for a third, right? Yep. Okay. So biomass rocket. Yeah, probably not. I mean, although, um, you know, I still accomplished the goal. And even, even Elon's like, you know, sometimes it's not about the success, it's about the failures. Right? Alright, see all the green stuff floating down? That was from the rockets. Making the planet. So what these do is they uh, increase the Build biomass by a thousand Set. percent. Right. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's launch this one. But I like the physics. That's pretty cool. And off it goes. off all right oh let's look at our numbers now all right biomass um so that the, those rockets increase biomass by a thousand percent so I'm at 47,000 now 47,000 grams per second of biomass, so you can see it's really counting up. Pressure, heat, those are both looking good. Oxygen is 15,000, so probably need to work on oxygen next. Um, where was that? 50 when I started? I'm at 73 on the trees? That's cool. All right, so let's see. What do I have for an oxygen boost? Um, pressure multiplier is iridium. Um, heat multiplier is uranium. That's why my heat's up there. Biomass, that's the biomass rocket. 
oxygen multiplier is the seed spreader. So this is a global generation bonus spreading seeds. So I need oh bacteria, mutagen, and a tree bark. All right, we got that. Um, super ally, I'll need, we're gonna launch two of them. How much super ally do I have left? I've got enough. So let's, I need, I got one mutagen already. So I need to create another mutagen and two bacteria. So I need three bacteria samples. So I need more algae because I'm out. So let's go out and see how much algae is out there now since I just collected. You would think you could drink while you're underwater, but you can't. You have to be at the edge of the water to drink. There you go. And then I'll uh, collect the bacteria. Gauge already full. Oh, yeah, but I don't I want that. And let's see. Getting there, getting the bacteria, or getting the algae. I'm just a collected algae. I'm an algae farmer. Well, it grows fast. I really think, Bill Beto, this would be a game you'd like. Because I think you, you're a Subnautica player, weren't you? Weren't you, Bill? Bill Beto said, yeah, I love the Subnauticas. Yeah, you've played both of them. You played uh, Zero, Life Below Zero, or whatever it's called. Got a little storm coming in. Oh, look at these trees going up. I hope they don't get into my rocket here. My rocket launching pad, that would be, that would suck. I'd have to move it. Alright, oxygen multiplier coming up. Alright, we got more than enough algae now. Let's just, what else do I need? Algae and water. Oh, I got, uh, I got way too much algae on me. There we go. And water. Let's take as much as we can. We'll just create a bunch of algae. and three. Yeah. All right, so there's a bunch of that. And reading rod silicone, or not silicone, sulfur. I'll just create two more. And a methane rod. All right, two, we got three mutagen and three aloe bacteria, but I only need Two, I need two of each. So let's put one of each back. There we go, there's two of each. And then I need super alloy. I need six. Oops. Bill Beto oh, no, I only said, need four. after midnight for me, so I'm heading off, but does look like a good game. Yeah, it is, and it's it's got on ten percent off right now in uh, in Steam. But have a good night, Bill Beto. Thanks for stopping by the stream. You're one I need to put on my shout out list too. So I just added you to my memory. 
I'll make a shout out for you. So next time you get on, I'll shout you out to all the people watching. All right, what do I need to make rocket engines? Oh, I need super alloy for the rocket engines. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll make the rocket engines. How much do I need? Uranium Pu-36 Explosive Space Modulators. All right, that's enough for the two rocket engines. All right, now let's put all this stuff in our parts container. And we will run over and make some more super alloy over at my aluminum factory. Running out of silicone. Oh, did I forget to bring my forgot to bring my bean thing over here? I was gonna have a food grower here. All right. Well, Take, yeah, okay. I got a little bit more. So we'll go over here and make some more super alloy. So I planted some trees over here too. Over in the desert. So I got a few trees growing now. Not a lot. I should move it. I didn't know I. This was the first one I planted. I didn't know I needed land mass versus water. Do I have enough room on me now? Yes, I do. I need more land mass than water. I should probably plant on a little river, riverlet, like this right here. There we go. There. That'll plant more. There, that'll get more trees going.
really? I don't have enough. Alright, fine. Put those away, put that in there, put that in there. Take all this. Make an iridium rod. Put it in there. Magnesium and titanium. Silicone. I'm out of aluminum. All right. Medium rod. There's my bean. That's right, sulfur. Got two of them out here. in it.
back with us titanium and as much cobalt as we can carry. Let's see what kind of trees planted grew up over here. I mean, not a lot. There's a few. Ooh, these are looking good. Got some good trees growing there. Some decent ones there. All right, well, we're, we're all right. We got trees growing. Seven thousand on biomass now, and fifteen thousand on oxygen. Still need more oxygen. All right, let's put this stuff away. This one cobalt. Zanfen GMR. What's up, Zan? Hey. Zan man with the plan plan. Yeah, good thing that wasn't in your neighborhood. I, I saw that come across and I was like, oh man, that's not good. But it didn't it didn't say I didn't read the article, it didn't say what part of Texas. So Alright. Let's see, we're making another rocket. I don't think it's a GM off. Said, yep, dude, dead. The dude's dead too? Good. Tree bark. Okay, and I need two tree bark. There's one. Or ally, alloy, alloy. Okay, and I need one more tree bark. Let's just go out here and get them. Okay, let's go launch a couple of rockets. I don't think you've seen a rocket launch yet, have you, Zan? Zanfen GMR said, right. no. So we are going to launch these oxygen multiplier seed spreader rockets. We're going to launch two of them. So I've collected all the materials. You just go like that, and then instantly, it appears. It's got a big tree plant in it. And then you hit the button, and main engine ignited. 
Xanfen GMR <laughs> said, burns you alive. Burns you alive, yeah. Gonna launch another one. Because now, you'll see, I'll wait to launch this one. But you see, we're getting a little hazy now. So the rocket goes up in the atmosphere and goes boom. You know, blows up or whatever it does. And uh, then we get these little storms that come in. And it gives you a thousand percent multiplier. This one was for oxygen, but each rocket does something different. Oh, space occupied. Um, this rocket brings down uranium. This rocket brings down iridium. This one is the biomass, uh, which increases biomass. This one multiplies your oxygen, which is what I just lit up by a thousand percent. Um, GPS satellites and then the map rocket. Um, I don't remember if I did. I didn't. We're going to go launch this one right now. Because I didn't have the Osmium for it. So we're going to go launch the map rocket because the GPS shows me. It's really kind of cool. It shows me the map, but it doesn't show me the points of interest. Now this is my base. And I can zoom all the way out. So this is basically um, the entire world. Okay, so I've explored this here, which is that space wreck. This is a giant pit. Um, and there's another space wreck on the side of the mountain there. And then there's the, um, oh, it's like a, uh, what would you call it? Uh, like a Stargate is there. Um, and there's just, you just go inside of it and there's stuff inside there. So, but then you can zoom in because I've got the GPS-3 satellite. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to launch the map information. So I need to make a rocket. I need two of those, one of those. Uh, what else? And one super alloy. Xanthan GMR said, did you ever put the video of your ship falling apart smiley face? I didn't, not yet. I, my, my daughter had to do homework, so when you left, she got on my computer and did homework, so I haven't done it yet. Alright, so what else do I need? Xanthan GMR One said, lol. And a microchip compass. Alright, let's make microchip compass. Silicone, magnesium, aluminum. Silicone, one. Magnesium, one. Mm. Aluminum, two. And I need one for the rocket. All right, let's make the compass. I need the compass, super alloy rod, aluminum. Compass, super alloy rod, aluminum. Two osmium and a rocket engine. All right, let's go launch this rocket. I want to see what it does to the map. It's supposed to put all the points of interest on there. I don't know if it's his points of interest that are in the game or the ones I've been to. So let's launch this one. It's a cool looking rocket too. Got like solar panels or something on it. Oh, it's actually going to be a satellite. Okay, all right. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine, we're going, main engine, ignition. This Osprey 9 rocket, because I can't call it the Falcon 9. So, because that's, you know, copyright SpaceX. And I'm not SpaceX, I'm Spacey. Um, so mine's an Osprey. Ooh, got to her. All right, let's see what it does to the map. Boom! 
Oh, look at that. It shows where all the minerals are at. Very cool. Oh, there's another iridium mine over there. And there's, oh, we're gonna have to go there. I didn't know there was uh, osmium mine over there. That's not very far from our base. I just haven't explored that way. And I don't know, that looks like uranium. I know about this uranium mine. And then there's another sulfur. But see, that, okay, see, I, this is what I was looking for. There's a super alloy. This is what I was looking for. This is supposed to be, no, that's not silicone or aluminum. That's aluminum there. All right, all right. So we're good. I just need to go up here and get more of that osmium. All right. Well, that may be uh, tomorrow's stream. We'll go up there and find that one. And of course, I don't have tier two. I already have enough iridium. I don't need to do another iridium mine. Um, but I need osmium, right, to make. Yeah. I need two osmium to make another ore extractor. Um, but I'm not even close to getting my tier two, uh, my tier two extractor. That's right here. That's pressure. Well, 364 and I'm at 248. So I'm not too far off from getting it. Then I can just start mining uranium. And I know the mine is underground, but I, I saw a YouTube video where they said, uh, put it above the mine on the ground in the right spot and you can mine it from above. So that's cool. All right, terror, terror let's see, my teleporter's coming at 25. Ooh, and I'm at two. <laughs> so it's gonna be a while before I get my teleporter. Um, let's see, oxygen's at seven and a half. And I think they got this backwards. PPM is parts per million, and PPB is parts per billion. I think billion's more than a million, so it should have unlocked, but um, I think they got them backwards. This is supposed to be parts per million. This is supposed to be parts per billion. So 7.5 parts per billion. That's going to be a while too. Before I get a tree spreader type 2. I do have the reactor, but I don't have the... I don't know where to find the, uh, the crystals to activate the fusion reactor. You got to have five of them. I'll show you. Um, where is it? Why can't I see it? Oh, right there. So you got to have these pulsar crystals. And I don't know where the hell to get them. You used to be able to make them in-game, but they did away with that in the last patch. So now you have to find them. So, cool stuff. All right, 231. I got plenty of power left. I'm at 91% for trees. All right. All right. And I'm approaching an hour and a half on my stream. My daughter is making dinner. We're having tacos. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, and see what I did for you, Zan? I, uh... I put supports underneath the buildings. Oh, hydration. Oh, I'll just get in here. Might as well get more. Zanfan GMR said support. Yep. I put support underneath the building. Not under all the building, but you know, I mean, it's it's mainly supported. I still have still have a little work to do on this side yet. And definitely some more over here, but uh, a lot of it's supported. It takes a lot of work. Then I moved all my uh, solar panels over here, so I got like a solar panel row. I put my big, my big uh, mining device. This produces uh, heat, heat 
generation, the same thing that these are doing. That's just the tier four version of these tier threes. I think they're tier threes. Yeah, tier threes. That's my tier four drill. It takes a lot of osmium. I almost took it apart for the osmium, but because I needed another ore extractor. But I think next stream and my nuclear power plants and my heaters up there. Um, I think my next stream, and I may turn around and move move this to the ground, this building, so I don't have a ladder going up. I may put it off the back end of, I don't know, maybe off this building or something, or off the side of it. That would be cool to put it off the side of it. I don't think there's anything up there. Let's see if we can do that right now. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So let me take it apart. Oh, what's it saying? Cannot deconstruct something inside. Okay, that's not ladder. So. Yeah, because I didn't add anything else in here. Alright, so let's just move it. Because all this does is tell you that, you know, you could make these things. So the tree spreader, grower two. So it's not a big deal to have anymore. This does produce some, um, let's see, that's the biodome. It makes oxygen 135 per second. Why does it sound like there's a rocket? I think we're having a storm. I think that's going to connect. Nope, it didn't connect. Sheesh! Ooh! Ooh! That was an osmium meteor! Look at this big chunk of osmium! Ooh! I wonder if that stays there. Dude, I just got an Osmium Wish granted. That was cool. So I def definitely worth having that meteor strike. Some more Osmium in here. Yes. Yes. Nice. So as these rocks disappear, it'll reveal more osmium that's laying around. Oh, there's another osmium over here. A chunk. So there's going to be some osmium. Yeah, there's one. I don't know that those stay there, but um, they may break down into more osmium. I just got to wait till they disappear. It takes a little time. That was cool. That was very cool. Xanthan GMR said, Bud got run CYA latter. Yep. See you later, Xan. Thanks for stopping by the stream. We're about ready to kick it anyway. Um, I got to go put this biodome back. Um, I think the only place I can do it is right here.
Is it connected? I just have to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that connected. It's a shame, though. I wanted it to connect to this one. Now I have to go back in and see where that connected. I think it was over here. Yeah. All right, well, that's all right. Got a nice view of the valley. But that means I gotta move this. Because that's right in the way. <laughs> I'll put it right here. Recycling machine. Where did that go? Right there. to go out and get some supports underneath this now so it looks really cool um, we got this one over here this biodome it's producing me some bark that's good enough for this stream uh, tomorrow I'll stream some more and we'll uh, see how much it is oh, it's disappearing had to do that as the asteroids came down like I did that's possible so it disappears it sinks into the ground the planet eats it up it's an osmium eater I don't see any best to come out at night but you can see the blue glow but hey I got a little bit so I'm happy But now that I know that, definitely keep an eye out for those kind of strikes. All right, let's go in and eat and call it a stream right there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget. Uh, one of the last things you can do that is free on this earth is to hit that like and subscribe button for me. I also have a uh, YouTube page. Please, please hit that YouTube uh, subscription over there too. Hit that follow button. I do have a goal of 250 followers. I only got 249. I need one more follower to up my, to, uh, you know, reach my follower goal. So help me out with that if you can. Uh, help me out on the stream. It, it definitely helps for the likes, um, the subscriptions, all that kind of stuff. Helps push your videos out to other people so they can see my content too. Um, I now have trees. Now I'm working on insects. Holy crap. 0.01% towards insects. That's going to take forever. <laughs> 
but uh, everything else is looking good i suppose i need oh wow look at oxygen jump since i got trees wow 303,000 per second nice that's even more than my pressure um my heat is only at 107 boy that really getting the trees boosted the oxygen level big time so I wonder if my oxygen doesn't go down as fast now but anyway we'll figure that out next stream thanks everybody for watching and we will uh, see you tomorrow I'll stream some more <laughs>